Hi again, Kenny from Hangar 51 here. Uh, today I'm going to just show you a, a little uh, prop balancing uh, technique that um, I think you'll like. Um, you know, there's a lot of opinions on how to balance a prop. Um, you know, CA glue on it, um, putting a piece of tape on it, um, and and they work. I mean, it's it you know, but those ideas are probably not your best choice just because. Eh, Drew a little, here's my version of a whiteboard. Okay, so here's what you've got. You know, we all know what an airfoil looks like. Here's your wing, you know, creates lift. Here's your propeller, same thing. And what you've got here now is when you put a piece of, a drop of CA glue on it, well, you've you've got a, basically a, a, a spoiler or a, um, a slat, like on a glider, that creates uh, turbulence which destroys your lift, okay? Now, I know we're talking about a small area on the propeller, but it is going to disrupt your, your lift ever so slightly. Um, if you're listening to a propeller and it's making a flappy sound, like a spoke, or, you know, a baseball card in a spoke kind of sound, that's, that's turbulence, that's, that's inefficiency. That's why you're hearing the prop. When your props are running smooth and you can't hear them, that's when they're working their best. So you put a little drop of CA glue on it or you're putting a piece of tape across the edge here, um, you're going to get that sound. And that's just, you know, lost energy. You know, how much? Eh, it's probably not a lot. Probably not a big deal. Hey, if you, that works for you and you, uh, you're happy with putting a piece of tape on your propeller or a drop of CA glue, then by all means keep doing it. Just giving you an all, another alternative, something that I do. You know, it's not the easiest, it's not the fastest, but it's probably the most efficient as far as, um, you know, I guess I paint, I paint the end of it. You know, what you do is, you know, you put it on your prop balancer, you find out which side's heavy, and then uh, the opposite side, you tape, okay? And then you paint it. And you can either use matching paint so you don't see it or you can just paint the tip of it um, and, you, and it's a guess how much how, how big to make it whether you do both sides this one I I painted it like this on both sides and then I realized it still wasn't heavy enough so I just dusted some more paint on the back of it and then wet sanded it to uh, until I got it to balance and now you've got you know a propeller that is uh, you know, pretty balanced. I mean, it's, you know, that's close enough, okay? So, and there's no deficiency on the airfoil. And when, you, when you sand the paint out, it, uh, it, um, you know, it's smooth. So the air is going to cover it smoothly. There's no deficiencies, no voids, no turbulence. That's the key word, turbulence. And I don't know if you can see this or not, but there's a nick in this prop right here. There's a, there's a, let me put, I would see it better if I do this. So, does that help? Can you see the nick in the prop right here? You know, it's, I, I hit something, I hit a tree branch and they put a nick in the propeller. Okay, this thing was noisy as heck. I mean, it was making all kinds of racket, and uh, and that's why you know that that nick, and there's an, another one on this side. It's h even harder to see because it's not painted over here, but um, you know. So I'm not using this prop anymore. I, I keep it in my box as an emergency spare, but um, you know, they're cheap. You know, a couple dollars for I think I paid two eighty five for four propellers. Um, so you know, not going to keep using it, but in a pinch it would work. Um, so, but yeah, you just, you, you tape it off, you paint it with some paint. You got to let it dry. You can't balance, rebalance it immediately because as the paint gases, it gets lighter. You know, as the, as the fumes, the, the, um, the thinners and stuff, uh, evaporate, it gets lighter. So you got to wait for it to dry and then check it again. Um, and that means untaping it checking it hopefully it's heavier and then you just take some sandpaper like 600 grit 
and you lightly sand it and you keep checking it until you've sanded enough of the paint back off that you've got a balanced propeller. Like, and you can see where I was sanding on the back side of this one. You know, just I just kept sanding it until it uh, until it got to the uh, um, to the point of uh, you know it wasn't heavy anymore. And uh, and there you have it. So um, when it's spinning, you can't see it anyway. I mean that the tip disappears, especially in black. Now, if you want it visible, paint it white. Uh, then you'll have a white, you know, ring flying. But black pretty much goes invisible, so you don't see it. So all you see is the, the tip of this side spinning, which makes a full green propeller. The black one just kind of disappears. But if you want it visible, paint it red or white, and then you'll have a white ring flying. Um, you know, but, but this is smooth, so there's no, you know, there's no turbulence. I haven't disrupted the airfoil, and yet I've still balanced the prop. So... That's just my opinion on how to balance a prop. You know, if the CA is working for you, if you want to do that, that's fine. You know, it's, I mean, it works. It'll, it'll definitely get the job done. So, and so will the tape. But, um, but this is really a better way to do it. You know, it takes a little longer because you got to wait for the, you know, the paint to dry before you can do your final balance. But, um, but you won't. You know, this, this thing is whisper quiet. You know, my quad, you can't hear it running. They, the, all the blades are so smooth. There's no you know, sound, you know, the, the flappy sound that you hear that, that, you know, everybody wonders where that sound's coming from. Well, that's where it's coming from. You know, any kind of deficiency in, in the airflow on the propeller is going to give you that kind of sound. So when, you're, uh, when your airfoils are smooth, you're going to have a very quiet running, um, uh, you know, propeller, which, you know, equates to a quiet airplane or quadcopter, or whatever you're flying it on. So... Just my opinion on a little, you know, prop balancing trick. Again, if you're, if you're happy with the CA, continue to use it. Uh, if you think tape's your way you want to go, now, then by all means. This is just, uh, you know, I feel it's a better better way to do it, my opinion. Everybody's entitled to theirs. Um, but in case you hadn't thought of that or if you weren't realizing that you, you know, again, you know, you, you're creating a... A turbulent, you know, is that thing spinning at a high rate of speed and goes over that little hump of, of CA or the piece of tape that you have on there, you, you know, you're disrupting the airflow. It's going to cause turbulence. So it's going to make the prop inefficient in that one little area. Again, is that a big deal? Probably not, but it's probably going to have a noise and it's you, you are giving up some lift. Uh, ever so slightly and maybe you actually need that little extra lift so um, but anyway that's my take on it you know uh, don't hate me if you don't agree with me just keep doing what you're doing and you know just giving you another opinion another option that's all so if you like my videos you know subscribe to me on uh, on the YouTube channel here like me on Facebook hangar 51 have a great day talk to you later bye bye